This is Stereo 12, Richmond, Virginia. Channel 12, WWBT, Richmond, Virginia. From the information headquarters for Central Virginia, WWBT presents The Scene Tonight. Good evening. WWBT 12 in Richmond, Virginia. Headquarters for Central Virginia, WWBT presents The Scene Tonight. Good evening, I'm Deborah Kirby. I'm Gene Cox, and thousands of West Germans. WWBT, Richmond, Virginia. From the information headquarters for Central Virginia, WWBT presents The Scene Tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sabrina Swan. I'm Gene Cox. Virginia. This is WWBT 12 News. On your side with Gene Cox, Sabrina Squire, Radar Plus meteorologist Jim Duncan, and Ben Hamlin with sports. Good evening. I'm Andrea McDaniel. Afternoon and welcome to 12 News at Noon. It is not a good day for Virginia's tobacco industry. A Supreme Court ruling could have a major financial impact here. From Virginia's 24-hour news service, this is 12, first at 5. Well, the Supreme Court also dealt a blow to tobacco companies. From 12 News, on your side, this is First News Live with Brenda Hughes and Gene Cox, meteorologist Jim Duncan, and 12 About Town with Bernie Simmons. Good evening and welcome to First News at 5.30, Brenda's office. I'm Joanne Sue in... From Virginia's 24-hour news service, this is First News Live on your side with Brenda Hughes, Gene Cox, Radar Plus meteorologist Jeff Hill, and 12 About Town with Bernie Simmons. From Virginia's 24-hour news service, this is 12 News at 6 on your side with Gene Cox, Sabrina Squire, Radar Plus meteorologist Jim Duncan, and Ben Hamlin with sports. From Virginia's 24-hour news service on your side, this is 12 News with Gene Cox. Radar Plus meteorologist Jim Duncan and Ben Hamlin with sports. On your side, this is 12 News Today. Good morning. It's coming up on three minutes before six o'clock on this Friday, the second day of June. Welcome to 12 News Today. I'm Andrea McDaniel. And hello, everybody. I'm Gene Lepley. In the headlines this morning... On your side at 5.30, 12 News continues. On your side, this is 12 News at 6. On your side, this is 12 News at 11. On your side, this is NBC 12 News. At a time, the nation... This is NBC 12 News. This was Virginia Beach nearly 24 hours ago as Hurricane Bonnie delivered one final blow. Now thousands are still without power and trying to pick up the pieces. Good evening. Welcome to 12 News at 11. I'm Sabrina Squire. And I'm Gene Cox. And the casual attitude at Virginia Beach yesterday. On your side, this is NBC 12 News. Tonight's top five at five. On your side, this is NBC 12 News. It's been one of the largest holiday gatherings in our area over the last five years, and this Thanksgiving, the family of friends dinner grew even bigger. 
Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to 12 News at 6, everyone. I'm Kurt Autry. And I'm Julie Bragg. Jean and Sabrina have a holiday off. On your side, this is NBC 12 News. As we get closer to spring break, a murderer near Cancun could have some tourists worried about going to that vacation hotspot. Anger throughout, the, throughout Iraq after an attack overnight destroyed one of the nation's holiest shrines. And the life of a death row inmate in California is spared a second time and now indefinitely. That tops our news at 6.30 on this Wednesday morning. Good morning, I'm Andrea McDaniel. And good morning, I'm Aaron Gilchrist. Legal and... Richmond's first local news in high definition. This is NBC 12 News. It's number one choice for news at five. This is NBC 12 News. The mortgage crisis has even enthusiastic home buyers confused about whether they're getting a deal or a dud. But there's help on the way. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sabrina Squire. And I'm Gene Cox. Is number one news team. First in high definition, this is NBC 12 News. And how the at six, a suspected serial burglar now behind bar. First in high definition, this is NBC 12 News. A high-rise apartment building catches fire in downtown Richmond. And On your side, Central Virginia's number one news team. This is NBC 12 News. On your side, Central Virginia's number one news team. This is NBC 12 News. Right now, a cold rain continues to fall across much of the area. Here's a live look at Richmond. When will it end, and could it impact your Thanksgiving plans? Those are the questions everyone is asking right now. And our first morning weather team is getting new information as we speak. Central Virginia's number one news at 11. A calf still alive but left for dead in a local dumpster. Who would do it and why? They don't care if this is for a birthday present. Tonight, faking famous. We buy autographed sports memorabilia and put it to the test. Is it the real deal or fake? And new leads in the disappearance of police captain Kevin Quick and the possible link to a weekend shooting at a party in Louisa. The news starts now. First in high definition. This is NBC 12 News. We begin with that breaking news in the frantic search to find a missing Waynesboro police captain. Breaking right now. We're on the scene of a domestic homicide suicide. Four people are dead, including a little boy. Live team coverage is on the way. And more breaking news. In Chesterfield, a man trying to cross a busy street is struck by a car and killed. Richmond's number one news at 11 starts from the breaking news center. And let's start tonight with an absolutely horrific crime scene unfolding in South Richmond. East Roanoke Street is where police tell us four people are dead, including a boy under the age of 10. On your side, Central Virginia's number one news team. This is NBC 12 News. We are working to get answers on breaking news we've been following all day as investigators at this hour figure out what prompted several fights at Verina High School today. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. And a pleasant good Monday morning to you. Thank you for waking up with 12 News today. I'm Gray Hall. I'm Heather Sullivan. Let's get things started. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. It's here. One of the busiest shopping days of the year and the unofficial start of the Christmas shopping season. It's Black Friday. Right now, bargain hunters are packing the aisles. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. Breaking now at noon, take a look at this tractor trailer. It overturned on Chippenham Parkway northbound. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. We begin with a breaking traffic alert, a crash on the Benjamin Harrison Bridge. NBC 12 News at 5 starts now. New developments on human remains found in Henrico's East End over the last several hours. We're on your side. NBC 12 News starts now. Now at 6, bitterly cold air continues its firm grip on Central Virginia. Oh, it's harsh outside. Check out the steady drop in temperatures throughout the day. This morning, mid-30s. This afternoon, drop down to 30. Now temperatures hovering in the mid-20s, right around 26 degrees. Right now at 11. A woman shot while sitting on the couch in her home. What her husband has to say about whoever is responsible. And the Secret Service may have to rent part of Trump Tower ahead of the president-elect's new administration. 
what that could mean for taxpayers. And a 96-year-old runner shares his feelings after potentially setting a new world record on his turkey truck. NBC 12 News at 11 starts now. And the Powerball jackpot sits at $403 million. And those winning numbers are expected any moment now. So we're going to have those for you as soon as they're announced. So get your tickets ready in the meantime. Good evening. Welcome to NBC 12 News at 11. I'm Heather Sullivan. On your side, this is NBC 12 News Today. Good Friday morning and thanks so much for waking up with us here on 12 News Today. I'm Carla Reddit. And I'm Sarah Blumen for Eric this morning. Hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. Yes, very nice. Breaking right now on 12 News Today. Tragedy this morning. A suspect is in handcuffs after a triple homicide. The latest from investigators on this devastating shooting in Chesterfield. Plus, what Richmond police are telling us about a Thanksgiving Day shooting on a GRTC bus. And the Black Friday deals are officially underway as well. We've got the hits and misses to watch out for before you hit stores. Today is Friday, November 24th. 12 News Today starts right now. On your side. This is NBC 12 News Today. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us on 12 News Today. I'm Kelly Avellino in for Sarah Bloom and Eric Phillips. On your side, this is NBC 12 News Today. Now at 5, breaking news overnight. An Amber Alert has now been issued for a two-year-old police say was abducted and is in extreme danger. On your side, NBC 12 News starts now. Right now, nearly 60 million people are under a heat advisory, including some areas just west of town. NBC 12 News at 5 starts now. Another day of temperatures in the 90s with some parts of Central Virginia. NBC 12 News at 5 starts now. And happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Thanks for joining us here on 12 News at 5. I'm Heather Sullivan. On your side. NBC 12 News at 6 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is out of Chesterfield County. NBC 12 News at 6 starts now. It is a hot day out there today, so make sure you stay hydrated. Temperatures are in the 90s. Now some kids, as you can see, are beating the heat by having a fun day in the pool. Right now at 11. A domestic disturbance erupts in gunfire in a Chesterfield neighborhood. And wait until you hear who police took into custody. We're trying to make it another day. You'll meet this Caroline County entrepreneur who's opening a Mexican restaurant not far from Homeland Security's new ICE detention center. Hear why he thinks the lockup is a bad idea. Plus the story of a mom who loses her job after she texts her boss asking for time off to be with her child who was on life support in the hospital. NBC 12 News at 11 starts now. Right now, it may be dark outside, but nightfall has done little to cool things off in Richmond. It feels like it's almost 90 degrees right now. Right now at 11. Tonight, people brave near freezing weather to find those special early Black Friday deals. Tomorrow marks a new day of unity here in Virginia. And despite the damage and loss of life, firefighters and evacuees find reason to be thankful in the midst of the California wildfires. NBC 12 News at 11 starts now. Thanks for staying up late with us on this Thanksgiving evening. Although many of you would be up this late anyway, braving the crowds and the cold. On your side, this is NBC 12 News today. is evacuated because of a gas leak. We have details about its reopening this morning. Also, Chesterfield police need your help finding an autistic teenager missing since Sunday. We'll tell you where he was last seen. And some residents in the fan district called 12. They're fed up with what they're calling a dangerous intersection. We're on your side with what city leaders say they will do about it. Good Tuesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us and joining us here on 12 News Today at 4.30. I'm Anthony Antoine. I'm Sarah Bloom. Let's start that morning with a look at the forecast. Andrew on your side, this is NBC 12 First at 4. First at 4, we are learning more about an apparent murder in Henrico's West End. 61-year-old Randolph Smith appeared in court today. NBC 12 First at 4 starts, starts with local breaking news. A Henrico man has been charged with murder in the death of VCU Administrator Suzanne Fairman. Richmond police obtained a grand jury indictment against 59-year-old Thomas Clark. On your side, this is NBC 12 Live at 5. 
Five. At five, a Chesterfield school board candidate says he was threatened as he canvassed a neighborhood in his district. NBC 12 Live at Five starts with local breaking news. And that local breaking news is out of Richmond, where a Henrico man is charged in the death of VCU administrator Susan Fairman. This is NBC 12 on your side at 6. A live look now outside our South Richmond studios. When it comes to today's rain, every little bit counts. But we will need a whole lot more to get out of this drought. Meteorologist Jim Duncan is tracking whether there's any more rain on the way. Jim. 12 on your side at 6 starts with local breaking news. Are following multiple breaking stories tonight. First in Richmond, charges now filed against this man. NBC 12 News at 11 starts now. Well, tonight, a Henrico neighborhood is reacting to something they're not used to seeing, a murder investigation. On your side, this is 12 News Today. Now at 6, something in the water causes quite a stir in Virginia. On your side, this is 12 News Midday. Thank you for joining us here on 12 News Midday. This is 12 About Town Today, sponsored by CoStar Group. Hello, I'm Candace Smith, and welcome to 12 About Town Today. Our Call 12 lines are open for another. On your side, this is First Look at 3. The heat wave going from bad to worse. Temperatures hovering around the mid-90s. Look at that 90. On your side, this is 12 News First at 4. First hit four video just released to the public shows the moment Chesterfield police shot and killed a man suffering a mental health crisis. And an accidental website posting may have just revealed the Supreme Court's long-awaited decision on emergency abortions. But first, this is a first alert weather day and temperatures have just hit 100. On your side, this is Live at 5. First tonight, there is not much else to say, folks. It is hot. Ugh. We hit our first 100 degrees. This is 12 on your side at 6. On your side at 6, another first alert weather day with temperatures in the triple digits. This is 12 on your side tonight. Now at 7, some relief in sight after a dangerously hot day. Megan is timing out some scattered showers that could bring cooler temperatures. The countdown is on and the stage is set for the first presidential debate ahead of the November election. We are live from Atlanta, breaking down the new rules in place and key issues. Plus, a proposal for a new power plant Chester Field is not coming without some concerns. Why residents say their voices deserve to be heard. We thank you so much for joining us at 7. It is a first alert weather. Today's triple digit heat spawns tonight. Severe storms that produce damaging winds and hail in parts of the viewing area. And Chesterfield residents protesting Dominion's plans to build a gas fired power plant. Why some believe it not only is a threat to the environment, but their health as well. Plus, Virginia lifting a 15-year ban on the winter dredging of blue crabs, a move many fear could decimate the female blue crab population. This is 12 on your side. We begin tonight with a live look outside, where tonight a lucky few got some much-needed rain, and now an approaching cold front could spark showers and more widespread relief. And, of course, we're in the midst of a drought watch. On this first alert weather day, we begin with team coverage. Frank Thanks for watching NBC 12 on your side.